in this video we're going to explore how to modify our um, spline cage to be able to create surfaces uh, for our vehicle that we're modeling so <coughs> uh, we build this uh, spline cage and again uh, it just kind of really depends on how much detail you and how you kind of break it out um, and now I'm at a point where I, I think I have enough detail in here or at least have a, a good idea of how I want to break my vehicle so I want to start building some uh, surfaces based on this um, and uh, we're going to be using lofting and we're going to be using boundary to be able to create these another thing that uh, you need to be mindful of when you're working trying to create the surfaces is that uh, one all of these curves uh, need to uh, you need to make sure that they have the same origin now when I say origin of a spline I'm talking about this uh, open box that it has at the beginning of the spline uh, so uh, this one right here the origin is at the top <coughs> and if I go into this one it's actually right here so I do want to make sure that all of those origin points are actually kind of in the same direction so that one is and this one is okay so if I wanted to do a loft for this surface right here <coughs> that's one of the things that I want to make sure it's in order if for some reason one of these wasn't <coughs> I could go to edit curves alright and and if I click on reverse curve direction again we don't really see a change in our curve but notice that now the uh, beginning of my curve is actually at the opposite side <coughs> so if for some reason you want to create surfaces and they're not facing in the same direction you can always go into edit curves and just reverse the curve direction the other thing that you need to keep in mind is that these um, splines need to have a equal number of uh, CVs <coughs> or curve points um, in order to be able to create a surface properly otherwise it might give you some kind of weird result so if I have my attribute editor uh, here and I select one of these under nerve curve history it tells me that I have 10 spans on this one 10 spans on this one 10 on this one but the last one's gonna have four and uh, you know perhaps I might not want all of these to have this many uh, spans on them um, and I might need this one to have a little bit more so um, under edit curves you can actually reveal the, the number of CVs that the curves have and you kinda just select it and then go to reveal curve right here and go to the option box and uh, probably wanted to have something like six alright uh, and again I'm gonna be changing these to kinda do the same <coughs> so I want them to be uh, those CVs to be uniform so uh, basically it's going to be uh, it's going to have uh, five different points on an equal distance uh, I want to make sure that ends is checked on and I want to make sure that it uh, three cubic is selected to make sure that it's um, <coughs> a smooth curve so I'm just going to click on apply and again you don't really see much of a change here on my curve if I go into my control vertices then you can see that it's actually divided uh, into six and if I go into uh, my nerves history under spans I have six so I want to do the same thing with these um, the problem that I'm gonna face with these over here is that <coughs> they were originally drawn as Vezier curves which are not technically nerve curves 
and for me to be able to reveal them and again I'm just gonna select this one I'm pretty much trying to apply it it's gonna tell me it's gonna give me a warning saying that uh, the rebuild curve only supports nerve curves <coughs> and remove vesio curves from the selection to continue so again it's telling me that since this was drawn as a vesier it's not gonna be able to rebuild it um, so in order to change that <coughs> And again, you might not be able to see this hotbox in in the in the monitor, but I'm basically holding Shift and um, uh, right clicking, all right, and it's gonna give me a submenu that it says uh, that has four four different options. I'm gonna be selecting the bottom one that says Convert Vesier to Nerves. And again, I can see it on my viewport. You can't see it on the video, but it's right here. So again, I'm holding Shift and I'm right clicking. And then I'm just going to convert my Bezier curve to nerve. All right. And by doing that, if I sell again, I if I go into my revealed curve option, I can apply it, and it has turned it into. I mean, it has rebuilt it in a way that this one, which formerly had ten spans, now has six. And I want to do the same thing with these two over here. So again, uh, I'm going to select them both. I'm going to right click. I mean, I'm going to shift, right click, and then go to convert Vessier nerves. Click on that, and then I want to select them both, and then just uh, apply that. And again, if I select this one, each one is going to show that it has six fans. Okay? And again, I want to make sure that the origin point, it's basically on the same orientation for all of them. So all of them kind of have it at the top. So I'm going to go ahead and select these four, okay, and do, uh, <coughs> I'm going to do a loft, okay, I don't want to, surfaces, and I want to go to loft, alright, and it's not, it's not giving me, um, uh, really the results that I wanted, and it, again, one of the reasons is because this uh, loft is kind of based on the number of it's going to base this form on the number of curves that we kind of build it from and it, you know it obviously doesn't have enough uh, in another curve here to kind of sustain this shape so it's not really following along the way it's supposed to um, and again the solution to this problem could be very well me having to go in here and draw another curve or <coughs> maybe I can just delete that and see if I can maybe do a boundary by using uh, these these four curves right here okay and again same same applies to these uh, we want to make sure that they have uh, similar numbers of of spans at least on the opposite so you want these two to have uh, similar number of spans and these two to have similar uh, number of spans and they also need to feature <coughs> or need to have uh, the same origin so if I right click on this and go into my control vertex let's see my uh, origin point is right here that open box okay now want to uh, double check here on the top and the origin point for my top one it's uh, this side over here too and uh, these two should have the same origin point but I need to make sure that these two have the same number of uh, CVs uh, which by selecting them I can tell that this one has 16 and this one has 10 so I'm going to rebuild this one uh, to have 10 just like the bottom one <coughs> So, uh, again, this was drawn as a Vesier curve, so I need to turn it into an earth curve in order to be able to rebuild it. So I'm going to hold Shift, right click, convert Vesier to nerve, okay? Then I'm going to go to my rebuild curve uh, option, and I'm going to bump this to 10. And then I'm just going to apply that. <coughs> Alright, so now this one has 10 spans, and this one has 10 spans. So I can... Uh, now I just kind of select them in order like this going around 
and then I'm going to go into boundary. All right, and I'm going to notice that it's kind of uh, it's giving me a better translation to what uh, the Lofton was doing, but it's giving me uh, some really odd geometry uh, on my surface, especially around here. <coughs> So another thing that I can do at this point to be able to kind of fix some of this, uh, you know, I could definitely right click on it and select an isoform and maybe get rid of something like this. But I much rather the Maya tools to kind of take care of that for me because it's going to be a much, it's going to be doing a much better job than I could. So <coughs> I'm going to select this and then I'm going to go into my edit nerves because this is a nerve surface and I can go into my let's see rebuild surfaces alright <coughs> and it's basically uh, again we want to make sure that it's uniform so that everything's kind of evenly spaced uh, in both direction U and V, uh, and v. Uh, we want to make sure that again they're three cubic so um, so they're smooth so the number of spans on the on the uh and the U, and again I'm just gonna go ahead and select this and apply it. Alright. And I guess I need to keep a similar number here at the bottom. Alright. So uh, again, notice that it took uh the ge the geometry that I created and uh it basically kinda uh reshape the number of spans and without kind of messing the, f the the original shape that I created by creating um, the uh, the boundary so now it's it's pretty much uh, a a nerve surface that has a same number of spans on the U as it, as it does on the V direction so it's 6 by 6 and it's keeping the curvature pretty nicely on it all right, so and and I, you know, I've I've gone and I kind of built this the surface uh, <coughs> for the front of my car. So uh, now I need to go and basically do the same with every single uh, surface in the car, and I need to determine, you know, how I'm going to be able to how I want to divide this in order to uh, make it into uh, into a surface. Uh, just like this and trying to determine which uh, technique uh, would apply better if uh, doing a lofting or doing something like boundary to create the surface and again for something like this obviously the boundary gave me a much better result um, but again keep in mind that it's going to give you some irregular uh, surface geometry and but you can always go to Edit Nurse and reveal that surfaces so it gives you a little bit something that's a little bit more uh, clean that you can work with. Alright, so this concludes this video and in the next one we're going to explore uh, basically how to build surfaces for the rest of this vehicle.